Okay, in this section, we're going to quickly go over other automated tools that are used in SQL injection, things similar to SQL map. We're going to cover three tools that are the more famous ones. There are a lot of other tools out there, but I generally recommend using SQL map to do anything you want. It's extensible. You can add tamper scripts, you can change the source code, and you can do whatever you want with it. The other tools, one's called Habich, and the other one's called SQL Ninja. The first one's not an open source project. It's relatively old as well, but back in the day it had its own features. But the second one is relatively active, but still not on par with SQL Injection. Havich was created in 2010 in an, with an Iranian company called IDSEC Team. It had a, um, the competitive feature of it was that it had a GUI interface for SQL Injection. So people who didn't really know how to use the terminal and SQL map on the terminal could use this. It also had a bunch of features used to hack some particular vulnerabilities back there. It would um, let you get a command shell, as you can see over there. It would let you find admins. It would let you crack MD5 and some other features that didn't exist at SQL map at the time. So um, Havish was a great tool back there, and you might hear about it, but it's relatively old now. And I personally don't suggest using SPMF for anything that you want to do. Habich is no longer updated. You can still find it on the internet and download it, but there is no new version. SQL Ninja is a relatively good tool that has some features on top of SQL map. It's particularly uh, focused on the Microsoft SQL Server. And it has a lot of features that focus on that. So as you can see, it's for Microsoft SQL Server. So if, if, my, if SQL map doesn't give you enough features to exploit um, MS SQL features, you should go back to SQL Ninja. And it has pretty much the same features on SQL map, but focused on the Microsoft SQL server. As it says here, the main goal is to get interactive OS level access, such as the remote shell. It can fingerprint the database, its version. It can brute force the SA root passwords of the MS SQL. And it can privilege escalate to get root access to the system. It can create DNS tunnels, ICMP tunnels, and other sort of things. And it also supports adding Metasploit uh, exploits on top of it, just like SQL. So SQL map, because Microsoft SQL Server doesn't follow a lot of standards, doesn't support it very well. And in those cases, SQL Ninja is the better one. It can also obfuscate SQL code so that it's it's not clear on the server easily and the IDSs and IPSs don't 